What up, what up? It's your boy Random Bigs, aka Big Time, aka the dude that does whatever. We playing Frank Stone, the cast in the Frank Stone. Sorry for the brief okay. intro, but uh, yeah, like the video if you like it and subscribe because we looking for folk. Get him in. Nah, she's not compassionate. Damn. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Guess I just dozed off a bit. Wait, what happened to Augustine again? She left. L left? She said she had to do something very urgently in her private reliquary. Hey, now that we're all awake again, can we forget about Augustine for a minute and talk about the a thousand foot long elephant in the room? Thousand, oh. Thousand feet is the average length of film in a movie. Oh. Guess we were all playing it close to the best before, huh? It's not my film. I, I didn't, I just worked on it, didn't direct it. It's not even on my official filmography. I meant how we were all holding back about our film strips. Oh, right. Yeah, he is obsessed. Whether you take credit for it or not, it's definitely the most infamous project that's uh, associated with you. Cursed film collectors have been unsuccessfully searching for any trace of it for years. And now we are all here, each with our own little slice of a mysterious pie. It's a pretty big deal. So, all of our film strips, they're part of this movie you and your friends made linda if they're not fakes yeah mine's not fake and all that stuff you said about it being cursed murderous rages cia interrogation total disassociation with reality because it's so rare only a few people know for sure well, so is it if augustine wants the only known surviving pieces of it <laughs> she's gonna have to pay up Why do you think she wants it so bad? I mean, it's not really cursed, right? I prefer not to dwell on the past. You're here, someone's offering to buy our sections of the film. That is all I'm concerned with right now. Providence goes a long way towards a successful sale. So do motives. I don't know about you, but I would very much like to know why Augustine is so desperate to get her hands on this film. Sure. Uh, well. First rule of business is to gather every bit of intel you can on your opponent. And I don't know about you two ladies, but I have been itching to get a little look-see around this big old house of curiosities. <laughs> Are we allowed to look around? What do you say, Director? Want to keep sitting around or want to peek behind the curtain? <laughs> Damn. Fuck, I gotta know what's going on. What are you waiting for? <laughs> well, now this is a real bold statement kind of room. You know what I mean? Huh. New Augustine got cash, but not like this kind of cash. <laughs> Sounds like you didn't scout your mark as well as you thought. In business, we don't call them marks. Hustling is a racket. Not a business. I wouldn't underestimate my scouting skills if I were you. <laughs> but rattling around up here, that could be mutually beneficial. Why don't you tell me how you know so much about Murder Mill? I'm a big fan. <laughs> it's your first credit. Cut the shit, man. Okay. Mm. You want to know the truth? When I first heard about it, I didn't believe it was real. But the more I looked into it, the more breadcrumbs I found. And the further I followed the trail, the more fascinated I became. Not just in the film, it, in the legend. Whether you meant to or not, you created a monster with this movie. Even if it isn't really cursed, the fact that everyone believes it is makes it real. Believing in something doesn't make it real. Well, that's why I had to find out for myself. Took me a couple years, but when the opportunity came for me to actually acquire a genuine piece of it, I I jumped at the chance. And just how did you acquire it? 
Exactly. Hey, uh, just catching up. So, what have you guys found? Not much. But the night's young. Not as young as you think. Let's keep looking around. Can't deny this place would make an incredible film location. This is a very nice fireplace. Who's this guy? I love your outfit, by the way. Well, thanks. It's Italian. Well, the shoes are Italian. And a belt. Huh. Oh. I got a shoe from a now guy. that was a curious got sound. A guy okay, Archibald. Guy. So I got these pants from his guy's guy. Had them tailored just right by the other guy I know, who also got me the blazer, which is like a super limited VIP club edition. <laughs> but you want to know a secret? Sure. Found the turtleneck in a secondhand shop. Scandalous. Right? <laughs> y'all, I ain't talking about. Think <laughs> about how you sure fucking with y'all. All right, I heard a click over here. Oh, here it is right here, y'all. Y'all might want to come over here. I'm doing big things. Oh. So they've been watching us. Well, hello. It's like every room in the house. Yeah, I'd say this goes a little beyond your typical security. What do you mean? I get the sense our host just has a lot of valuable property and likes to be keenly aware of everyone's comings and goings. Yeah, he's... They've been watching us all through the house the whole time. <laughs> this equalizer right here. I used to have one of these equalizer. Real talk. And that one is... he. It's kind of set there listen to voices. It's not a lot of bass in it. Yo, what is that fucking leaking? Uh, be out. Ain't nothing else to see. Be gone. Keep it pushing. This is the McMillan estate. Oh, another another DVD reference, y'all. I'm swimming in it right now. I, I don't think there's nothing else in here to be seen. Let me just verify one last time before we go. Yeah, it's really nothing. We already looked at the, the blueprints. Yeah, right, let's go upstairs. Ah, yes. Let's check out the other floors. Good thinking. Wait. H hold on a second. What? Before all this goes any further, I need to know how both of you got your pieces of the film. Um, well, it's no secret, really. Um, after my mom died a few months ago, I found it when I was going through her stuff. Maddie, what was your mom's name? Bose, or was it Bonnie Rivera? Yeah, it. How did you know that? Because she was with us, bro. You look just like her. You do? Did you know my mom? A long time ago. A whole other lifetime. Her younger brother, Jaime, was one of my closest friends. Uncle Jaime, I am. Um, I never met him. I hadn't heard that Bonnie had passed. Yeah, it was. Pretty sudden. Wow. Maddie, that's... It's quite sad. Very... Touching. Yeah, I don't like this motherfucker. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. 
It's never easy to lose someone you love. True. Thanks. Type shit. Lucky for me, it wasn't my first rodeo. <sighs> Bonnie. I wish I'd stayed in touch with her. <clears throat> Weren't you wondering where both of our film strips came from? I don't suppose you'd like to enlighten me. Of course. And? Well, I can't just tell you for free, can I? This kind of information is very valuable. What's your price? You know what? I'm gonna have to get back to you on that. I don't like this motherfucker. Go ahead. Bonnie's kid. Yo, this is crazy, though. Know? I like this. Cool statue. Bruh. Hmm, missing a piece, though. <laughs> You're missing his bonk stick. Yeah, that's Billy. <laughs> Billy McMillan. Wow. Powerful resemblance in Augustine's family. That or Augustine loves cosplay. Yeah, she looks like the artist. She definitely looks like the artist. The face of evil. Sensationalist trash. True story. Sam Frank Green Stone. took down Frank Stone. I could write a better book than this. Yeah, y'all can pause it and read it too, by the way. Yo, what's up with this door, fam? This, this, is, this is wild. Oh. Quite a piece. Look at the metalwork. It's beautiful. <laughs> Pop goes the weasel. Look at this thing. <laughs> this, guy, this game is great. There's so many. There's so many. Yeah. And what would you do if it was you here instead of me? No way. You'd be climbing the walls looking for a way out. Who's Dan? No. Not in a million years. No way. Looks like it opens with a key. There's so many Easter eggs, bro. So many. Wait, why this window? Oh, this is where he was like yelling at us when we first came in. I, I remember. You sure would get a kick out of this place. And then you'd probably kick me out of this place and keep it all to yourself. Who are you talking to? Mm, uh, no, I, I wasn't. I could hear you. I was talking to my mom. To Bonnie. I was in Berlin, you know, at school, when I heard she was sick. But it was my midterms, and... She said I should just come home when I finished. So I did. But by then it was too late. Damn. She died while I was over the Atlantic. It all happened so fast it doesn't feel like she's gone. So I just kind of pretend like she isn't. Poor baby. Poor baby. She was a good talker. <laughs> yeah, she was. Hey, look at this. This was just last summer. 
I know you said it had been a really long time, but can you tell me anything about her from when you knew her? Ah, uh, gosh. Well, she was the most intimidating girl I've ever met. Even after I got to know her. She did everything she wanted to do, and nobody could stop her. <laughs> and that sounds like Mom. Any good stories? You gotta tell her about her mom, <laughs> bro. Yeah. Yeah, there is something I've been thinking about. I've never told anyone else. It was a long time ago. We were just kids, making a movie. Jaime, Chris, and me. Everything's still so fuzzy about what happened, but... There's one thing that always just stuck in my mind. Three years ago. That night, we were on our way home from picking up a new camera. We were driving past the Rivera's house. The garage door was wide open full of light and the craziest fucking sound you ever heard was just tearing out of there in every direction and right in the middle of it all was Bonnie I, I don't think I've ever seen anyone so completely in tune with themselves the only thing that mattered was that moment nothing else was your mom. Thank you. Hey, hey guys. Look. What? I don't see anything. Ah, there, right there. Oh my God, there's someone out there. Is that Billy? If someone else did find out this deal is going down, they might be after the film strips. Well, healthy competition does make for better offers. My guess is that if they're all dressed in black and prowling around the place like a thief, they're not here to make an offer. Maybe they just want to make a dramatic entrance. Should we tell Augustine? They might be dangerous. Even if you wanted to tell her, good luck finding her. <laughs> she said she was going to her private reliquary. That's a place for artifacts, right? There's artifacts all over the place. Right. So, if you were going to have a private place for extra special, extra valuable artifacts, maybe you'd put them behind a door like that. You've got a point. Can't we just knock? I doubt anything can get through that, including sound. Which means it might be the safest place to be, whether Augustine's in there or not. Okay. As my wife would say, the sweet pickles van. <laughs> What's taking them so long? I thought we were going to have a production meeting before we shoot. The van's already all loaded up. I read an article that said girls don't like it when guys get all twisted up about their punctuality. They find it controlling. Why did you need an article to tell you that? I just thought you might find that information useful. I'm not trying to control Chris. We just got a lot to do. Uh huh. Hey, right out time. Time to get cooking. Nothing, just trying to keep a low profile. Bonnie snooping around. All right. Is everybody ready to get this production meeting started? We got a big night ahead of us. Guys, I, I gotta tell you, my mind's going like a million miles an hour right now. 
Did you know you can get like every newspaper article ever written at the library? It's insane. It's all right there. No, tell me more. I've spent like all day looking up every single thing I could find about Frank Stone, the mill, the murders. We are sitting on a freaking gold mine here. Sounds like a productive day. <coughs> and yes, I had some help from my uh, assistant. I ain't the police. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Now that you are an official member of the team, gotta wear the team jersey. Hey, wow. gotta put on a t-shirt, baby. This is <laughs> the crew in the back. This is amazing. <laughs> I'm, I'm honored. You wanna wear the stripes? You gotta earn the rights. I promise I'll be the best ancillary producer you've ever seen. <laughs> Production assistant. Yeah, yeah, totally. Feast your eyes. Whoa. Wait, where's Sheriff Green? Ah, uh, yeah, so Dad's never exactly been stoked about that. But I thought he got the guy. Yeah, and Sheriff Kushik took all the credit. Mother People around here knew what was up, but... Let me see that. This one's a 10-year retrospective. They go into all sorts of grisly details left out of the press the first time around. And Dad got a little more credit, too. This is big deal stuff. We're making our movie in the very same spot it went down. Can't beat that. Stone's victims were... real people. This was a real person. Yeah? So? I don't know. It's one thing to talk about it. It's another thing to look at their picture. And this is suddenly now a problem for you? It's not a problem. It's just a little weird. You were just like super gung-ho when I got here. What gives, man? Nothing. I just don't want to like exploit any of the victims or whatever. We're not going to exploit Stone's victims. I'm just trying to maximize the potential of our main location. That's how you make a good movie. I think you're missing the point. It's not about the mill. So what's the big deal? You don't think you're like a little too excited about everything that happened there? I may, if it bothers you so much, you can always stay home. Chris. Um, he's kind of number one on the call sheet. What does that mean? He's the main actor. We can't shoot without him. Yeah, I know. I was just kidding, obviously. Obviously. Robert and I are gonna look for any more locations in the mill connected to Stone where we can shoot. And I'm gonna go make this thing any way I have to. Yeah, she's determined, but she has no people skills, bro. Like, goddamn. Yeah, that's a good word for it. Fixation. Obsession. Tom Holt interview. Yeah, you jacked it. Criminal. Criminal activities. Here, why don't you start with these? So we're looking for Frank Stone references. We're looking for anything sure referencing no one was specific sad to see locations it go. in the mill that could be associated with Frank Stone. The mill's a pretty huge place. That's why I'm sure there's got to be something we haven't found yet. Definitely possible. We'll find it. The list sure can't get enough of Frank Stone. That is about a Here, look at this. I wonder if Linda's yeah. okay with all this Frank Stone stuff. It mentions Frank? No, but seven years it goes ago. into the mindset of the workers. Set in 1970. People were so. depressed. There were suicides. At the mill? Not at the mill. Yeah, but look like at this toolbox right here. worked there or got laid off. Not. Damn. This was a year or two before the murders started. Does not sound like a fun place to spend a 12 hour shift. There are a couple articles like yeah. this. Yeah. I can remember it clear as a bell. Don't think I've ever experienced anything like that, Mac. Yo, that's the drunk. I don't reckon I ever will again. <laughs> Heck, I don't know if I would have even made it out alive if it weren't for Sam Green. The man's a hero. 
damn shame that noble sheriff's taking all the credit. Damn crying shame. He all but gave up on finding stone at the mill. Sam Green, he knew better. He came right up and told me we had to search every nook and cranny of that place. And if we had waited just a second longer, well, there'd be one less beautiful baby in the world. Type shit. Or worse. Sam took stone down just in the nick of time. Like something out of a movie. Thanks to Mr. Holt, nobody questioned my dad's story. Wow. They were friends after that. My dad gave the eulogy when Mr. Holt passed. Wow, he made him stop drinking because of that night. That is dope. Kindness is the answer. Oracle of the Omniverse by Guru Connor Barnum. A lot of books in this game. You see, in the seventies, the eighties, it An wasn't. Omniverse? Far out. Yeah, in the seventies and eighties, we ain't had an internet or nothing like that, so everything was basically books. It was pretty cool. Um, you learned a lot, and you kept your head down. It, it was, it was type shit. Good stuff. Highly recommended. And I'm sorry if you can hear my alarm going off when someone opens it. And a book claiming that there are multiple... Okay, so that needs explanation. In DVD, um, as you know, there are survivors, and you can play the same survivor in matches. So basically what they're saying is all of the survivors in DVD are from multiple universes, so that's why it can be multiple, let's say, megs in the match. So that theory is why you can have multiple of the same character. Pretty dope. Did I pick this up? Yeah, I picked this up earlier. I had to go through all that again. I just want to put it back down. How rude is this? Put the book down. We got you. Is the script and all of this. I know exactly what this is. My brain works like this too. I would have to have everything like charted out like this. Okay, I said I gotta talk to her. So, wait, what's this? That's a sword. I thought it was a hula girl. Nothing else to look at? Okay. Talk to old girl. I didn't want to say anything, but I'm just not a fan of this. Mm, understandable. No, oh, you got you need to be worried about Robert, but it is what it is. Her whole obsession with Frank Stone and the murders just feels a little intense maybe it's because she's not from cedar hills but you know those victims could have been any of us or our families but they weren't oh, so you don't think it matters either i didn't say it didn't matter i just meant it happened a long time ago and chris is excited because some of the locations could work really well for the film like this one take a look what is all this i came up with a new scene to shoot that you wrote yeah. Does Chris? I told Chris about it last night. Oh, she was into it? We'll shoot it if we have time. Cool. This furnace chamber location is perfect, but I wouldn't have known about it without Chris's research. It's pretty rad. Yeah, respect Hopefully the process. Have time to shoot it. Thanks. Me too. Huh? What is it's a picture of Frank Stone? Look at the date. Yeah. Oh yeah. Why? 
This is from before the murders, before they realized it was Frank. It's about mill operations, kind of a puff piece to drum up interest in new recruits. Hello, what is this? Look at the caption. Work of Frank Stone, machine shop. Bullseye. Machine shop, huh? We've got to shoot there. That's it. That's the place. It's perfect. So, time to go? Okay, people, company move. Time to head on out and shoot the shit out of this thing. Let's go, let's go. Time is money. Let's make a movie. Hell yeah. Hmm. Now, what were you little ding-dongs working on? Hello. Interesting. Ah, right, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and pause this right here. I appreciate y'all rocking with me so far. Again, this is the gas and the Frank Stone. Pretty interesting in my opinion. But we're going to go ahead and get it on the next one. So I'm going to go ahead and end this. And I'll see you on the next one. Easy.